You have two children growing up in an alcoholic home. One becomes an alcoholic, one never touches it. Circumstance is the same. The reality of your life is not who you are. It's how you react to your reality, not your circumstances. Uh, there's nobody perfect, so you gotta, you gotta work on your stuff and then come together. That's what's gonna give your relationship the best advantage. You get really in touch on who you are and um, what has happened in your life and basically turning my negative story for most of my growing up life into a positive thing. To get this stuff dealt with now, to get it dug up and dealt with now, and it is better when, than when our kids are 13, 15, 20. Coming in, you think, oh, I got no ghosts to exercise, I mean, everything is good. But you come in here and, and through the seminar, it's spectacular the way that it's laid out and the way that it slowly peels back the layers of the onion to the point where you can feel, uh, feel good about who you are. I knew I had my problems, but then I kind of have lived so long covering them up that I was like, oh, I'm fine, like, I'll be fine. And then just going through the processes that they give you, it just makes you realize that, like, life's not worth living, hiding behind things. So move with us. Get out of your head and go to your heart. Make that transition. That might be a short distance, but it may be the hardest trip you'll ever take, yet the most beneficial trip. I, <clears throat> I'm, yeah, I'm at a loss. I feel like a different person than, uh, than four days ago. I believe I changed as a mother, as a sister, as a friend, as a daughter as a granddaughter. And this is going to help me, you know, it's going to help me with my friendships, it's going to help me with my, my, my marriage, it'll help me with my kids, and it'll help me in business. Even if the relationship didn't work from here, um, this was life-changing for me. And uh, today I feel lively. Um, I have a piece of me back that um, I had lost a long time ago. But thankfully, I think the relationship's going to work out, and I'm quite happy about that. For the first time in a long time, I can honestly say that I'm happy. We, I came in here with very little hope, kind of as we're at the last straw, and I leave here completely consumed with hope, and not only for our marriage, but for my children, for my life, and I've been equipped with the tools to make myself the best woman that I can be. So therefore, I can bring that to the table in a marriage. I think I've honestly found the man that I always knew that he could be. It just took the right people in the right situations to bring him to figure out that he's an amazing person. And he needed to find that. It might sound cheesy, but I think I fell in love with him all over again. You know, I, for the first time in... <laughs> for the first time in 20 years, I saw that man again. I saw the man I fell in love with. And it made me realize that as unhappy as I've been, he's been unhappy too, and neither of us wanted to be in that place anymore. And this whole weekend has given us the tools and the confidence to go forth and make sure that never happens again.